I think every country needs a Gulen. Every country needs someone who says, we need to talk with other groups. We need to find connections. I'm uh, Professor David Marsh. I've been a professor at the University of Southern California in the School of Education, but now I've retired, and so I'm working on other projects that I care about. Several professor colleagues at USC had gone on uh, the trip to Turkey a year or two before. My friend Ann Kriegler especially talked about what an important trip it was for her personally and what it meant in terms of her professional understanding of things. So that got us interested. My wife and I both... Uh, were approached to see if we wanted to go. I think we need dialogue so desperately in this world. We don't listen and talk with each other. And the Hizmet movement has been very much about reaching out and building colleagueships and friendships across religious groups. That seemed very important to me. About uh, Gulen, I've obviously ne never met the wonderful man, but I'm impressed with what he has written. He talks about important dialogue. He talks about values of love and caring and honesty. Um, I'm impressed with how he's influenced so many people in their thinking about Islam and about their connection of different uh, religious groups. I think every country needs a Gulen. Every country needs someone who says, we need to talk with other groups. We need to find connections. I think his interfaith uh, uh, dialogue efforts have been amazing, and we'll talk more about those in a minute. But um, I'm impressed that he has such a comprehensive view of dialogue and schools and education and uh, social practices, uh, charity work. He's, he's really covered a lot of important topics. I don't know from certain ways. I don't know uh, about the Islam side, but I can tell you from a person in the United States um, I learned a lot about Islam and loved what I learned through that movement. It's an incredible chance to get up close and meet and talk to people. Before we went to Turkey, I was concerned, as were others in our group, about uh, hijab and, and headscarves, thinking, oh, that's sad that we're kind of sliding back into some fundamental efforts. What I learned on the trip was quite the opposite. What I learned was deep appreciation for the religious values and humility that we saw. We talked with a number of women, especially in uh, Nida, but also in Konya and uh, uh, Antalya. Uh, and I came away feeling that these were strong women who were choosing to also have religious values. And I came away very impressed. I love that close, real connection with people. Quite honestly, I don't know of other groups that reach out and make connections in the way he does. I think his movement is very unique and very important. That is, I know that there are sometimes efforts to promote one religious effort at the expense of some other religious group. What I love about Gulan is he doesn't ask that to, at all. He's not trying to convert us to Islam. He's trying to help kind, com, find common values and important connections of love and telling the truth, even not gossiping. And we'll talk in a minute about uh, even a particular effort that uh, Mustafa and Fatma in Nide were doing to help us understand the vicious nature of uh, giving gossip. And I, maybe you saw on my refrigerator, I still have the sign that rewards us not to gossip. Now, it's written in Turkish, and I can't read it so easily, but it reminds me of our common need to do good to other people. I don't know of other efforts that create the dialogue that Hizmet has been able to create. Now, I've lived in India for a while, 
and I got to know Gandhi's grandson there, and he was working on interfaith dialogues, but they were among kind of the intellectual elite, and there were special dialogues. This is trying to be more conversations of real people, and I love the values of love and caring uh, that come through in those dialogues. In it, I come to learn a lot about Islam that's really special. It's so easy in the American media to hear only the kind of nasty things about Islam and the Islam world. So this is an important uh, approach for our country, for my understanding of Islam, and for the work Islam is doing with other faiths. Education and kids are such an important part of the future of any country. And we have to turn and help the kids, not just learn to read and write, but to understand themselves and have core values and work, work with other kids in other places. And I think the, the Hizmet schools, I've not visited them, but I've certainly heard and read about them. Those schools have an amazing mission of what they're trying to do in those settings. And you've picked not the easy settings. You've picked settings where this very kind of collaboration and connection is most needed. But honestly, in this country, we have a lot of needs for connections, as you could see with some of our recent um, racial riots around police action. It says our country very much needs that kind of education that builds values and faith. Schooling had gotten to be way too much focused on just math and science and history, academic subjects. Kids need those subjects taught well. They also need technology and new tools for living, but they also need the core values. And it's hard in some countries to teach those core values when we're so careful to not intrude on anyone's space. So I'm very impressed with what those schools have done. I'm delighted that they've tried to work in a Hindu or a Buddhist context. About the motives and the concerns about the, the Hizmet movement. Uh, I don't know everything about the movement. I can't say for sure that I understand fully. But what I can see that I'm very impressed with is a group that has very much tried to build dialogue with Kurds and with Armenians and with Greeks. And uh, in the Turkish setting, that seems exactly the sort of thing that needs to be done. It's encouraging at the same time economic development, both in Turkey and internationally. It's had a stunning effort for charity work. And so I come to trust what the movement is, even though I don't know a whole lot about it. I was really impressed with how much my visit to Turkey changed my point of view. And uh, in some respects, let the political issues play out. I don't fully understand. What I do see is a very respectable effort about interfaith dialogue, uh, charity work, uh, school building, nation building in Turkey that I came to have a lot of good respect for. I went to Turkey before the Hizmet Turk view, and I saw some f wonderful things. Um, I, we went to Antalya and saw the beautiful coast, and, uh, and, and, and there we went to Ephes, Ephes and uh, saw the exhibits. We went in Istanbul and, and saw some wonderful things, but I didn't connect with the people like I did on the Hizmet um, trip. And what I saw there were a lot of committed, thoughtful people trying to make a difference in their own communities, trying to make their families stronger, trying to have themselves live out the values that they thought were important. Uh, the visit in Nida was especially helpful in that respect uh, to come away with just such great feeling about the people and what they're committed and working to. So being on that trip and being in Turkey was very important. I can read Many other people could read. I never could have read anything or even seen a documentary that would have at anywhere close to given me the experience and the perspective that the trip to Turkey gave. And seeing what was happening in Turkey was very important. I see. So about areas of improvement for uh, the Hizmet movement, um, goodness, I'm so impressed with what you're trying to do. Um, I can't begin to understand how you can get all of those good things done. I mean, uh, you're expanding centers in the United States. The uh, Anatolia Festival you did here was fantastic. Um, I don't see how you get done even what you're doing. So to ask more is a strange, uh, a, an awkward question for me. But it's a movement. It's not a, um, a five-year plan. 
it's a movement where you connect with people and build new opportunities and stories. Um, look at what you did on our trip. Frankly, one of the other uh, people on the trip was a fairly conservative guy in California. He and I had a hard time talking about California politics, but you got us together to talk about um, charity and world improvement. And even there, we, we had some differences of opinion, but you were some common ground, even for two guys from California. So you're doing amazing work. Um, I think it's unfair to ask a whole lot more of what you've done. You've done really very special work.